Let's move on to the crop. Here we go. We're going to do some cropping here. <clears throat> what this cropping does is it... I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of shapes here. Let's just make this easy. Okay, I'm just going to create a bunch of shapes. Alright. Now, now that I have these shapes, I can, I'm going to zoom in. I am going to put another rectangle or any other kind of shape over it. I'll change the color so you can see what I'm doing. Now if I select all of those, it will delete everything on the outside of that rectangle, thus cropping it. Right there. So all that is gone. Everything outside that top shape when you crop is gone. Okay, and that's what the crop does. So let's say we make this right here. Okay, that's a little picture. Notice that it goes, it's, it's wonderfully composed. First off, I'm going to make a background. Probably do a little bit of a gradient. Just so that looks kind of like a sky. Get some gray in there. Whatever. Okay. Maybe can go up and down. Okay, then I'm going to make some clouds. Make them sort of flattish on the bottom. Make them a little bit smaller as they go up. You are not going to spend a lot of time making clouds. That's not what the lesson's about. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to select them all, hit Unite, fill with white, make some more, add a little bit, anyways, the point is, there's the, here's the clouds, you can see the cloud goes up over. Then I'm going to make a sun. I'm going to move it back. Command. There. There we go. So we have the sun. And I don't know. Maybe we should go get our boat. Oop. Don't need the sun. Move the boat over. Let's zoom in. I know it's there. I'm going to hold command and click until I get my boat. Uh oh. oh that's not good. I'm just going to move the, the sky to the back. And send it back. Okay. Grab my boat. I usually don't have this much trouble. Only when you're watching. Alright, so here's the boat. I should probably bring it to the front. Bring these waves up to the front. Alright, now I want to crop this. And so I just draw a square around where I want to crop it. Like this. 
fills it with some kind of color. I select it all. I hit my crop. And it only preserves that part of the picture that was underneath that shape. So that's the crop, and you can use all kinds of shapes to crop. If I wanted, I could grab a star, make it go over, select everything, hit crop. Now everything is inside the star shape. And so you can do whatever you wish, uh, whatever shape you put in front. there is the crop tool let's see what else I did that yeah I basically made a ring uh, we do we'll use the tools that we have remember that let's take the stroke off just for fun let's copy this command copy command C command F we'll paste it in front I'll make it small by holding shift and option. Make a ring out of this. Mine, make sure I don't get that crap down there. Minus front. And now I can take it over to. Yeah, I don't know. Let's take it over to the witch. Highlight them. Do a crop. <laughs> so we have <laughs> that going on. <laughs> it's but the ring still goes around. It just <laughs> you can see it just cropped that portion of the wedge. Okay, well that's what the crop does, and it really helps you take care of extra things that you don't want in your picture. If I was to crop this, I'd do this. Because I don't want those edges because you can see how my waves are made there and I don't want you to see that select it all you crap and there is my boat without all those edges that's the crop tool